Hello and welcome to a special Smith Hyatt season review show. I'm Jed Mills and here's what's coming up on today's episode. We'll hear from Marvin Ekpateta on rounding off the season with two awards and we'll hear from Jordan Gabriel on his commitment to community work. Well, I'm delighted to welcome into the studio today to reflect on the 21-22 campaign and to look ahead to the summer, head coach Neil Critchley. Uh, Critch, thanks so much for joining us. And um, yeah, first season in the championship, just for you. Um, how has it? How has it been? Yeah, it's been great. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, seems to have gone by, you know, so quickly. Um, doesn't seem two seconds ago since we were starting at Bristol City, uh, first game of the season, and it's gone by in such a flash. Um, but I've really enjoyed it. I think we've, you know, can be quite pleased with um, our first season back in the Championship. Um, and I think we've, you know, we've made big strides. Uh, we've improved as a group. And um, but as ever, you know, we want more. And, and you know, as soon as we have a little rest and recharge, we'll be ready to go again for, you know, another testing challenge next season. It must be weird to not be on the training ground and you have these little breaks. What's happening now for, for you? Give like people a bit of an insight. What's you know, what is a manager doing right now? Um, reflecting, you get time to reflect and evaluate where you are um, on and off the pitch. So, um, speaking to staff, we've, we've already done that as a group. Um, I'll make sure I do that individually as well. Um, obviously, speaking to some of the players, um, it's really important that if you want to move forward, you've got to know where you've been and how you got there and um, things that, you know, there's always areas to improve and you've got to know what it is that you're trying to improve and how you're going to do it. So that is giving you more thinking times important. Um, And then obviously, you know, a big part of the summer is recruitment, Um, talking to, you know, numerous people and, um, and yeah, we, we've got a, I think that's a real strength of ours with the, the staff that we have here and the support that I get, the communication um, that we have on a daily basis. Uh, and then it's about watching players and yeah, and planning also things for next season in terms of at the training ground. There's a little bit going on there. Um, but And I have a little bit of family time as well, which is important. I was going to say, do you get any downtime for you? Do you get that couple of weeks away just to completely switch off can you completely switch off or? Um, no you never completely <laughs> switch off you don't mm. I'll be honest you, you don't um, it's very difficult to um, so even when I will go away for a little bit that you know the laptop will come with yeah. me the phone will come with me um, because you always you, you have to be ready um, there's always that sort of um, fear of missing out that drives you forward um, and you don't want to miss out on a player or something that you think could help with the club. Um, so no, you don't switch off. I'll be, I'll be on my phone. I'll be working. Um, but it is also important you, you do. Uh, you know, I have a little bit of family time and uh, enjoy that time as well because that's important. Oh, it definitely is. Um, what about highlights for, for this season for you? What what were they? Um, yeah, quite a few. I think you know. The first goal away from home at Bristol City, first game of the season, I think that was really important for us. Especially the timing of that. Yeah, the well. timing yeah. of it. Uh, you, yeah, definitely to get that point away from home, first game of the season, I think was was really important. Um, but then, like coming back away from home uh, against Bournemouth when we were two 0 down at half time, I think that also you know, that that gives us a bit more belief and um, Fulham at home, beating Fulham at home, um, beating. You know some of our, you know, local rivals at home, Preston at home, obviously Blackburn. Um, yeah, they, they they were really memorable memorable days. I think Birmingham at here, yeah, um, six one, um, on Billy's anniversary. I think was a really mm. great day. Uh, and then a few, you know, a few away results: Sheffield United, Stoke, um, and, and I suppose that uh, you know, the biggest sort of uh, memory I would take away from is 
having the supporters back in the ground. Mm. Last season, we played the whole season pretty much, other than the odd game here or there, with with no one in the ground. And this season, we've had our supporters back in, and they thoroughly enjoyed themselves, and rightly so. And we've, had, you know, I've really enjoyed having them here. You know, the first home game, even though we lost against Cardiff, to feel that atmosphere, um, it felt special. Um, and you know, one thing that will always remain in my memory was when we lost to West Brom away, and um, that went some that went beyond football. Um, I think the supporters know here that you know the club. We might win, lose, draw. <laughs> we, you know, I think we have to be realistic. We might lose a few games in this division, but the, the supporters know that the, the club is pushing forward. It's in good hands with Simon in charge and um, and even though we might lose the odd game here and there that there's something a bit more important which is the club and the future of the club and um, the, the, I think the supporters definitely know that we're doing everything we can to make this club better on and off the pitch. Yeah, the fans have been brilliant haven't they, this season, like you say, home and away. Um, for you, we asked the players this about differences between League One and Championship, and it is that you know you don't get maybe as many chances. Got to take your chances. Um, the mental preparation has been a big thing. You know, people think well, physically you should just be fit, but actually it's mentally t- turning it on every week. What about from a, a coach's point of view? What have you seen as a difference between League One and? And championship as a, as a as a coach. No, I I agree with um, what you said. There is there's a there's a sustained intensity in this division that demands so much from you, physically and um, psychologically. Mm-hmm. So levels of concentration get tested all the time because you're playing against quicker players, better players on the ball, and the set pieces are better. So that that it puts a greater demand on you in mentally. Um, which takes a lot out of you mm. physically. So the preparation for the games, how we recover between the games is really crucial um, because we, we're not a team that can afford to be two, 2% off our game. We have to be there every game. And I think that's one of the so, sort of the proudest um, things that I take from this group is that they're there every game, bar one. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we were there for 45 games of the mm-hmm. season um, the, 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 what that takes is such a big effort and um, I think we, you know, we've got a group of players that certainly on the pitch and during the week because you can't perform on the pitch if you don't perform, uh, prepare properly they give everything mm. The squad rotation you do it's, it's, I suppose it's quite famous now with the Blackpool fans really but is that because of having players to rest not just physically it, it mentally as well to make sure that they're having that mental break and then they're ready for when you want to throw them in again it, is that all part of it there's there's so many things that come into it yeah um what other people might not see as the norm <laughs> i see is quite straightforward mm-hmm. um so i know um you know the, there's maybe other ways of working and teams that are much more settled. And But I think we've got a group of players that has, uh, is a really good group and there's not a lot of difference between number one and number 24, 25 mm-hmm. in, the, in the squad. And I think that that's why we've been um, um, successful in the last two years, because of the strength of the squad. Um, so managing those players over the course of the season, being able to change the system or freshen it up, I think I think it has enabled us to be to remain consistent, um, and that's not always for the players um, easy for the players mm. to understand because they want to play, um, but I think they also see the benefits of it, um, or I've seen the benefits of it, and it helps them to understand a little bit more of um, why I would do something. And again, I, I I try to explain most of the time, not all the time. I don't always get it right, obviously, um, why I've done something and, and you know whether that's a tactical decision in terms of shape or playing a certain player over somebody else and to give us maybe a slight advantage uh, in the game. I think the players now see the benefits of that and that trust, that element of trust grows and it, it becomes a little bit stronger. So 
Um, I understand that it might not be the norm, um, or but yeah, the more you do it, the more normal it seems.